Hello, my friends. Welcome to this video. And we're going to be going to how to build an automated survey or to add buttons to a video so you can direct them where you want to go. And in this page, in this funnel, you're going to see an example of that. This video is for someone that is looking to speak to different audiences. So you're going to see in the video that it's actually going to pop up the video, it's directing them. And after that, it takes them to a different video, but that could go also to a different landing page. So let me show you this example before we go into how we build this. So if I press play. For English pass here, para português, aperte aqui. Para espanhol, aperte aqui. Ou clique aqui. So you see what the video right now directly is doing is asking you where you want to go. So if I press English, it's going to take me to the English video or the English landing page. If you press Portuguese, it's actually going to take you to that landing page or that video. And if you press Spanish, it will take you to that landing page. This is all done inside Vumli. This is what is called a video funnel. So let me just, I'm going to press the English one so you can see the switch. All of them do the same thing. And then we're going to jump into Vumli and we're going to build it. Hi, folks. Just dropping in to share. So just so you can see, in the same page, not going anywhere else, I just was able to target a different demographic or someone with a different piece of the content right there. So you see, I'm funneling them down and I can keep doing this based on the video. So let's jump into Vumli so we can see how we can do this. So the first thing that we want to create, and again, I'm going to be doing this same example, is that we need to upload all of our videos that we want to work with. And one video that we need to create, I'm going to call it the menu video. And that is the video that actually you're going to direct people where to go. You're going to say, hey, press here on my right, and you're going to see it, in, in your case, your left, or press on this side, and you're going to show, hey, Pressing here for your option, or in, in the case that you saw uh, Cynthia, she's doing it in front of her. So she's saying, press here for English, press here for Spanish or Portuguese, and press here for Spanish. So after we have all the videos uploaded into a folder in your video drive in Vumli, we're going to go here to interactive video. And what we're going to do is that we're going to create an interactive video. And we're going to give it a name. So I'm going to go demo video funnel interactive. OK, and now when we come in here into the main window, there's nothing at the beginning. We need to start with the first video that we want. Like remember that I call it the menu video. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to I'm going to drop the menu video and then I want to bring any other video that I want to reference in that environment or in that menu. So I'm going to bring the English, I'm going to make the Spanish, and I'm going to bring the Portuguese. Okay. Now I can hide all my videos and I can now organize it however I want it to see. And you're going to eventually going to see the difference. So in this view, you have two options where you could do. You can decide from here where you want to send the person when they finish a video. That is, you can take them to another video. You see, you can go somewhere else. In this case, I don't want to, I don't want it to go there. I want to go into the main video. And I want to go into interactions. In here, in interactions, you have all these different options that you can use for your video. And one of the details is that 
you want to make it interactive when the person starts speaking or when you want the button or the interaction to appear. So in our case, we want to bring the button when she says English. So I'm going to play it. For English pass here. You see, her finger is right there in about two seconds. So what I'm going to do is that I bring the button and I drop it in about two seconds and the button going to come on the top. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to bring that button down. And now that button, let me move myself out of the way. On the right, you're going to see the options that you have for that button. First thing is a text. So she said English. I'm going to type English. And you see the word English change from button to English. Now, on click, when somebody click the button, what do I want it to happen? I have the option to say play another video. On pause the video, that is, you may pause the video. You can send them to a URL. You see, that's what I said that as a via funnel, let's say that you have a full landing page in English and a full landing page in a different language. You can send them there. And now you know that that person understand that language. Or you can close the video in case that is on a maximized modal window. In my case, I want to say play another video. And what are you going to show me now is play video. What video are you going to I want? Because I added the three videos, Spanish, Portuguese, and English. Now I have them available in my interactive video. From here, I can pick English. But if I wanted to send to a landing page, I could just set open URL and I can send them somewhere else. Let's go into the video. Then I have the options to change colors. So in my example, I use green. I can make the sides a little bit rounded. So you see, make it as a pale. The border, I can change it. Let's say that you want to make it a little bit to pop more. You can change the font size, uh, bold, if it's in the size. So these are all basic settings and I need to save it. Okay. So now I have the first button ready. If I want to test it, all that I have to do, I could come here to general and sorry, I can go back, save it. And now I can go and preview the video. For English pass here, para Portugal. See, right there, the English button appear. We have two more to go. So let me build those. Okay, so about four seconds, we have the next button. So now, I'm gonna move the button here. This is gonna be Portuguese. Wait another video. Portuguese, rounded. I think that I pick Red, I think. I'm just gonna pick a different color. Border. There you go. And one detail that you're gonna see is that depend on where you put your button and the interaction, you can decide how long that button appears or when will the button appear. So you can also use this. Let's say that you're hosting your webinar in Voomly and you wanna put your offer only when the video arrived to a specific point in the video. You can do that directly in here. So I'm gonna make this all the way to the end. And then let me just move myself and Spanish. There you go, about eight seconds. So let me bring the next one. Okay. 
video. Espanol. Now we're gonna pick, I'm gonna pick orange in here just for the sake of having a different color. There you go. Okay, perfect. Now we have our video with all our interaction. You can customize the color of your player in the player skin section. So you can, let's say, you see the branding here. If you don't want the logo, you can take it off. You can change in the player if you want a smaller player, if you want a different one. You see, you can, you can modify the way you want it. You can change the color. Like in, in that case, I picked like a little bit pinkish color. Um, and now that I have this saved, my video is ready to be embedded anywhere, or I can share just if I go back, I can now share this page. And now we have the demo video that when I play it. For English, press here. Para português, aperte aqui. Para espanhol, aperte aqui. So see, now I have a video funnel <coughs> that actually allow you to interact with the video. And now this could be embedded in any funnel and then you can redirect them somewhere else. Like you see, I am sending them to different videos, but you can now send them to different pages so you can understand your audience. And as they land in that page, now you know that you can tag them with that specific um, language or whatever you're tagging them with inside ClickFunnels. My friends, hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know.